Peace and blessings, guys. Peace and blessings. It's Mark the Messenger. We're back with another video. This one's going to be about seven signs God is testing you. And before I start this video, this is going to be about my experiences when God was testing me in, in previous time. Also, I'm going to be talking about Job. I'm reading the book of Job for like the third or fourth time right now. And, uh, you know, things that he went through, what he experienced. And uh, this is a thing that a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of times, guys, we question why certain things are happening in our life. And we don't have much wisdom at the time. We don't have much knowledge. So we don't know why... Like, especially with number four, number six happened to me a lot, and especially number four. But I mean, all this goes, in, all, number one, you know, I'm gonna go in with number one, but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know, best believe this is an important video, so please share this with your family members or anyone who know who's going through a storm, a child in tribulation. Now, I know it's not just Job who was getting tested, multiple people, Abraham, um, multiple people got tested in the Bible. And best believe, before I start this too, this would be that one person. So I know that God doesn't tempt us. Tempting and testing us are two different things. Tempting is like leading you to sin, leading you to rebel against God. Testing is just to test your faith, to test your your patience, to, to test your uh, obedience. Let's get let's go. Number one. All right, the devil will attack you hard. Remember, guys, this is my experience. This is a, tes a testimony. Okay, look what happened to Job. Okay, the devil will attack you hard, and best believe, God will allow the devil to attack you. The Book of Job. I'm reading it for the third or fourth time. God uh, in the first chapter. Okay, God went to Satan and asked, you know, uh, to, uh, told the devil, you know, do this and that, but don't kill, don't take his life. Okay, do this and that, but don't kill him. Okay, and look what happened to Job. And see, the bigger the this is one thing I learned too. The harder the devil attacks, the bigger the blessing. The harder the devil attacks, the bigger the blessing. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you guys some real stuff, bro. I'm telling y'all, man, the harder he attacks, the bigger the blessing. So whenever you're going through it, guys. And you feel like God is testing you and, he, and, he, and the devil, you feel like the devil is attacking you hard. There's a good chance. Okay, now, like I said, like I always say in my videos, you could be going through a hard time, guys, because you're reaping what is sowed. You were sowed into your flesh, was lead to corruption, or maybe you wronged someone. Now it's coming back to you because let, God is not mocked. Whatever a man sows, he shall reap. But if you're doing the right thing, you're being obedient. Of course, you're not going to be perfect without sin, but you're striving to stay on the narrow path. And you just, you know, all of a sudden you're getting attacked. It's because you got a big blessing on your way. So always understand that. Number two is to examine and correct slash chastise you. Okay, the Bible says in Proverbs chapter three, verse 11 to 13, I'll leave a verse right here. It talks about to despise not the chastising of the Lord, for whom the Lord chastises, he loves. Okay, just like when I was a child, guys, when I was a child, right? And I did wrong against God, right? Um, and like God would chastise me, or sorry, sorry. When I was a child, I did wrong against um like let's say if I talk back to the teacher, you know, so, you know, something like, something like that. Or again, if I, my dad will chastise me, my dad will, you know, beat me up. So I won't do that again. Okay. So sometimes God, sometimes guys, when God is testing you, it could be because maybe, you know, the disobedience or maybe you did something wrong. And that's guys, when, 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 when God chastises you, that's a form of love. That is a form of love. Now, of course, it's not going to be, even the Bible talks about this in uh, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 6 to 12. It says that. When you, whenever you go through chastising, it doesn't seem pleasant. When your dad's beating you with the belt, it doesn't seem pleasant. But as you get older, you realize that, wow, him doing that saved, you know, saved my soul. You know, saved me from, you know, going to jail, saved me from doing wrong things. So sometimes, guys, when you, when you feel like getting tested, God could be chastising you, okay? And even the Bible says, like, I can't leave the full verse because it's not going to be long enough here. But it pretty much says that in Hebrews chapter 12. Uh, I think it's a chapter, a chapter 12, verse 6 to 12. Okay, so always understand that sometimes it's not it's not it's not a test. Sometimes it could be chastising you for, for for you to better yourself. And so a lot of times I thought I was getting tested, guys, and it wasn't. I was just getting chastised. All right. So number three, and uh, oh, also it says that when God doesn't chastise you, you're a bastard and not a son. Like I said, that's in Hebrews chapter twelve, uh, uh, verse six to twelve. Okay, number three says an unexpected trial and tribulation. I put it short here. An unexpected trial and tribulation to reap a big blessing. Like I said. The book, I'm reading the book of Job, and, uh, you know, he didn't expect the trial and tribulation. He didn't expect his children to die. He didn't expect his wife to tell him to curse God. Uh, he didn't expect uh, his friends to, to, to leave him. All the things that happened, guys, he didn't expect for him to be hit with plagues. He didn't expect that. Okay, but even through it all, he endeared. And he, and guess, like I said, guys, in the first one, the, you know, he, now he reaped a big blessing. An unexpected trial. Things are going good. You know, uh, I'm pretty sure Job was a wealthy man. You know, he had 10 children, I believe. And, you know, things were good in his life. Things were going good. Of course, no one's life is perfect, but I'm pretty sure he was, you know, things he was being fruitful. And, you know, he, the Bible says that he was a perfect man. So, of course, he was being blessed, right? He was feeling blessed, everything. 
and an unexpected trial and tribulation just popped up, okay? So always understand, guys, when, when, you know, you're blessed by God because you fear him, you hate evil, because God called Job a perfect man. Why? Because he hated evil uh, and he feared God, okay? And so we got to understand, when you're living that type of lifestyle and just random tribulations start to pop up, guys, it's a test, guys. It is a test. Don't grow weary and well-doing, for in due season you shall reap if you faint not. Number four, okay, this is, I mean, this is a gem, man. A testimony to minister to others, and it also is a test of obedience and faith. Before I talk about that, I'm going to talk about this real quick. A testimony to minister to others, guys. I'm telling you. There's a lot of times, a lot of my videos, I mean, most of my videos, if, hey, a, lot, a lot of my videos where I'm talking about things I went through in my life, guys, is to now I can let, inform you guys. The Bible, like I tell you guys, the Bible says that in order to be wise, you must first become a fool. I have a lot of testimonies when I did some foolish things. I have a lot of testimonies, especially I'm going to talk about with number six. Uh, a lot of testimonies that I that got happened in my life. Now I can inform you guys. I can give you guys hope. I can give you guys, you know, some knowledge, some wisdom. So understand that whenever you're going through certain things in life, it's just now it could maybe God's putting you through a test so you could be a testimony to others. Like Job, I, I would have never known, guys, if I didn't read Job, that the de God will allow the devil to attack you. I would have never known that. So Job was just a testimony. Now we uh, to millions of people, we we learn we learn a lot of wisdom through you know not only through what happened to him, but that whole chapter. I mean the whole uh, book. Okay, so always understand that it's a, it's a test. It could be a testimony to minister to others. And uh, Psalm chapter one, uh, chapter one hundred thirty nine, verse twenty three. I'll leave a verse right there. And I also put it could be a test of obedience and a test of faith. Okay, uh, best believe um, there was a lot of times like before I read my blessing, guys. God put me a test through obedience. There's like random people wanting me to go back to my old ways, wanting me to go back to my vomit, wanting me to go back to what God has delivered me from. Okay. So let's just say, for instance, like I'm walking around downtown or maybe I'm playing basketball and someone will tempt me, not test, who will tempt me. Oh, let's go, you know, hit this blunt or you want free weed, you know, they try to tempt me to go back. So it, it was a testing of obedience. And I want to say maybe two months, uh, like a month or two months later, I got my big blessing because I kept on saying, no, I kept on resisting temptation. Even the Bible says in James chapter one, verse 12, blesses the man who endures temptation for he shall receive a crown. Okay. I don't know the whole verse by heart, but I'll leave a verse right here. But blesses the man who endures temptation. Okay. Number five is failure to achieve goals. This is also a testimony of two. Like I'm over here doing the right thing. I'm seeking God's kingdom. I'm seeking his righteousness. I'm doing what God says. Like, and I'm just, I'm just still a failure in life. Or I mean, you're not a failure in life. When you when you do things out God's way, you're never a failure. Maybe in the world's eyes, but if you're doing, if you're seeking God's right, if you're seeking His righteousness, seeking His kingdom, you can never, never be a failure. If you're doing that with your whole heart, you're giving your heart to God. And you know, I'm realizing like I'm going hard, and I'm, you know, I'm doing everything the Bible says, and you know, God promises this in His Word. You know, why is it not happening to me? Uh, my goal, whatever goal I had at the time. Um, I'm putting my all into it and I'm just, you know, never, and just ne nothing ever seems to, you know, go the way I plan to. Okay. And the reason, one of the main reasons why that happens, guys, not all the time, but one of the main reasons why is because you're going off your own will. You're going off your own plans. You're not going off God's plan. You're not going off God's will for your life. So a lot of times that could lead to failure. Okay. And once I went God's will, God's path, once I started to deny myself, pick up my cross, and endear the temptations and to, you know, and to, to not just, you're not going to expect it to, tomorrow or the next month, but you just got to keep on working, keep on grinding, keep on seeking God's kingdom, building the kingdom of God, and understand that in due time, you're going to realize why all the plans that you had previously, all the goals you had previously that you failed, because it wasn't aligned line to God's will in your life. So always understand that, guys. This is a gem, man. Even the Bible says in Galatians chapter 6, verse 9, in due season, you shall reap if you faint not. Okay, so don't faint. Don't give up. Continue to seek God's kingdom. Continue to seek his righteousness. Continue to have Jesus in your life. And just, you know, fighting the good fight of faith. All right, number six is financial problems. You're going to feel hopelessness. And also, you're going to have family problems, okay? The devil's going to jump into your loved ones. Okay, just like how he jumped into Job's wife. when And Job's wife was telling him to curse God. You think Job was expecting his wife to do that? Of course not. Okay, the spirit is spiritual. The spirits are going to use people, guys, and also, you know, financial problems. Um, even the Bible says I can't leave that whole verse because it's long. But uh, I made a video about this. It talks about in Matthew chapter six, verse twenty-five to thirty-four. It says that um, God feeds the birds, God uh, feeds the animals. So how? Of course, He's going to feed you. So whenever you go through that financial problem, guys, that could be a test of faith. Okay, that could be a test of faith because the Bible says I have uh, the the righteous are never forsaken. Okay, and there's a there's one time, guys, where this is back when I was 24 years old. I'll never forget this, guys. So 
I was like 24, 25 years old, and I literally spent my last dollar, um, and I was like on the verge. I had like seventy one dollars in my name, and I remember, and I didn't know God at the time, guys. I wasn't on the narrow path. I was I wasn't even living right back then, and um, I remember I was seventy one dollars into my name, like a bank account, and um, I was just praying to God. I'm like, dang, like God, I just I'm just not. I I remember telling myself like I'm not going to lose faith. I'm not gonna like you know most people in that situation. When they're down to the last dollar, they panic. You know, they panic and they start getting anxiety. Uh, they start crying or maybe going to depression. But me, I was just like, nah, like I'm putting my trust in God. Like, hey, you know, God, I had that faith as a mustard seed. And that's all we need, guys. You know, I had that back then. I had that faith as, a, uh, faith as a mustard seed. And I can't make this up, bro. I think it was like the next day, either the next day or within the next couple of days. I think it was the next day. I woke up, guys, and I got, I think it was... Seven thousand dollars in my bank account. I woke up randomly and I and I see seven thousand tax free in my bank account. That's God, bro. I'm telling you, I'll never forget that day. And I remember after that day, I was like, God, like I, I started seeking God more. I'm like, wow, God's working in my life, bro. Just off of that. So sometimes God could do that. Like I, I and like I said, guys, back then I wasn't reading my Bible. I wasn't praying that, like that. Maybe a couple, maybe a couple times a month or something like that. But I wasn't really on fire for God. I was more cold. And I realized that, wow, like once God blessed me with that, I'm like, okay, God's listening. God, you know, he's with me. And I said, my faith started to increase. You know, I started, you know, reading my Bible more, praying more. And then a couple, a couple months later, maybe like five, six months later, I started making YouTube videos. So you see how that works, guys? It was just a test. I financial, problem. even though I was tested, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, you know, panic. A lot of people would have been, fell, fell into depression. A lot of people would have panicked, but God won't never forsake the righteous. Even the Bible says that the righteous are never forsaken. Uh, number seven is your spirit will lead you to obey God's word. Okay. This happens to me a lot, especially when I'm being tested. I know the Bible. I've read it twice, but it just, I feel like the word dwells in my heart. So whatever I go through something in life, especially if God's testing me, uh, now I've acquired wisdom to know if God's testing me or if I know that it's just spiritual warfare. You got to know the difference between both, which is wisdom and understanding. And sometimes I'll be tested, right? And the, and, and the spirit will lead me to obey God's word. It'll let me know like certain things like, it's kind of hard to explain, but just know that whenever I'm going through something, the, wor the word will put, be in my heart. But like, okay, I got to obey because you could choose. It's all free will. It's all a choice. You could be you could be obedient or you could be disobedient. You could rebel against God because God's always speaking to us. God's always talking to us, especially if we're getting tested, especially if hard things are happening in your life, like a trial and tribulation. God's always there. Okay. And in the test, remember, just like in school, guys, in the test, the teacher is always silent. The teacher is always silent in the test. But the teacher, he's watching. Man, the teacher doesn't want no one to cheat. The teacher doesn't want no one to copy other people. But he's watching, but it's silent. So when you're being tested, God is silent, but he's watching. Okay, he's watching. Okay, number one, let's do a quick summary. Is uh, seven signs God testing you? How to know? Number one is the devil will attack you hard. But always remember, God allows the devil to attack you hard. Number two is uh, to to ex examine and correct you, to chastise you. Okay. Um, this could be kind of like people might think, that, and this could also lead to maybe you might feel like you're being confused, but also understand that, like I said, the spy is not the chastising of the Lord. Number three is, um, I say like I say, but that's what the Bible says. <laughs> Number three is an unexpected trial and tribulation to reap a big blessing. Number four is a testimony to minister to others and to test a uh, test of obedience, a test of faith. Number five is failure to achieve goals. Number six is financial problems, hopelessness, and family problems. Um, just like with Job, Job, you know, lost everything. He had financial problems. He was hopeless. And, you know, he had family problems, you know, with all that happened with him and his wife and his children. He, lo he lost um, family. He lost his children, but he got he got all of it back. Uh, number seven is your spirit will lead you to obey God's word. So always understand that when when Job passed that test, God blessed him with double. It says that in Job chapter 42, verse 10, he, he passed a test and God gave him double. So I hope you guys enjoyed, enjoyed this video and learned something from the video. If you haven't already, smash the like button. Leave a comment to let me know anything else that God's testing you. And share this video and check out this end screen right here. And if you guys wish to support me, my links are down below in the description. I love you guys so much. I am out. Peace.